Here at LSU, we work on all kinds of cases, all kinds of projects. Uh, mainly our job deals with forensic anthropology. We help law enforcement agencies all across the country, all across the state, to identify people. Occasionally, we get the opportunity, to, though, to work on research projects which deal with uh, creating three-dimensional images, of sometimes of persons who are known and persons who are unknown. Dr. Wayne Smith, professor at Texas A&M, was excited about a project that he was going to take part in and it had to do with the Monitor, the ship from the uh, mid-1850s uh, that sank and many of the sailors were lost. They raised the ship and on the ship they found two sailors and he said that they were looking for someone who would complete three-dimensional clay images of these two folks and so uh, we just jumped at the opportunity to be able to take part in it. We look at certain areas on the hip bone and those areas can give us an idea of how old these men were. One appears to be somewhere between 17 and 24 years of age and then the other one is somewhere between 30 and 40 or perhaps his early 30s or so. Eileen Barra is our imaging specialist and it's Eileen uh, who places the tissue depth markers on the skull. It's Eileen who decides uh, how and where to place the clay. I mean, she's so instrumental in this project. And then she builds the face uh, with the clay. We put these tissue depth markers certain places on the skull, and they are cut to very precise measurements in millimeters. Typically between your eyes, that area calls for a clay depth of about four or five millimeters. And you slowly build the face. The width of the nasal opening helps us to know how wide to make the nose. Uh, the, the width of the mouth is determined by K9 to K9. The height of the lips determined by the gum line. So we have formulas that we use for a lot of this, but a lot of the success comes from the imaging specialist uh, who creates this image. It is so exciting to be a part of this. I mean, the Monitor and the Merrimack, we've heard about that all our lives in history classes many years ago. And so to be able to participate in it is so rewarding. And to be able to create images that may have looked like these people uh, is even more rewarding. And the idea that they don't know who they are and perhaps some descendants will come forward and say, oh, I've heard this story forever. The folklore of my family says that my uncle, my cousin, my great, great, great-grandfather was part of that crew, perhaps we'll be able to give them a, a name and that would be so rewarding.